hey, you guys did it. You won. You beat the game. When it comes to marketing and sales, you beat the game, 2K. Take two. You've done your big one, and I think that needs to be celebrated in the business world. League of Legends, commonly referred to as League, is a 2009 multiplayer online battle arena video game developed and published by Riot Games. The primary reason for League of Legends popularity is its accessibility. League is one of the first video games to introduce a free to play model to success. They released the game without any price tag. Instead, the company monetized through its cosmetics that provided no in-game benefits aside from aesthetics. To be a video game released in 2009 and to still be relevant in this present day and time is astonishing. I believe that most of that success comes from its free to play model and its open accessibility. That's exactly why I feel like NBA 2K25 will benefit from a free to play model. Weigh in in the comments and let me know what you think. Okay, so season two is right around the corner. 2K is about to go into season two. And how many people do you think are going to actually buy the season pass again for 20 bucks or 10 bucks? And how many people do you think are going to buy their way to level 40 once again, even though shooting is terrible and the game is full of bugs? that really haven't been figured out yet in a whole month's time well 40 days the season was roughly a month and a week so i wonder how many people are actually gonna buy this season pass again because it seems like a lot of people bought the first season pass and bought their way to level 40. the amount of people that i saw that were level 40s on day one just so that they can get the gold and the silver floor setter and all the prizes that come along with that were immense i saw very many super much hellified gangster shit when it came to level 40s on day one that's gonna prove that 2k knows how to finesse a buck they can dangle some prizes in front of your face and they actually set the bar when they made sure that you can get a gold floor setter to upgrade your player's abilities and a silver floor setter to go along with that so that those two badges are solidified the whole season. You'll have those before anybody. That gives you a competitive edge, whether anybody believes it or not. I know, I was there. I was getting dominated by people who paid 80 bucks plus another 20 so that's a hundred bucks to get to level 40 get those floor setters and get all the prizes that came along with those floor setters the prizes they didn't matter too much in a competitive edge but those floor setters they definitely put players over the bar now some players are going to have two gold floor setters and two silver floor setters and depending on which badges they have at the set floor they just might be able to shoot a little bit better even though the system with shooting is buggy right now and everybody across Twitter is saying that they really can't hit a bucket. I definitely bought the first season pass. And by the time I got to level 37, I said, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and skip the 40. I felt like it was reasonable, so I went ahead and I got those skips in. But let me know if you're considering buying the season pass again in the comment section. And let me know what you think about level skips and if you're considering skipping to level 40 or how far you would grind before you did skip up to level 40. Since I do plan on grinding this, this second season the same way I grind out this first season and I'm looking forward to seeing what type of events come with season two. And I'm also looking forward to seeing if they can make the improvements that the community is expecting them to make. So I'm definitely considering going ahead and getting that season pass to help me along my grind pick up the extra perks that come along with the season pass and to get the extra prizes that come along with those levels in the season pass. Although I do understand this is a crazy business model and it really does feel like a ripoff to be paying for a battle pass for a game that wasn't free in the first place. 
I feel like they're really making money three or four times over. They're going to actually triple, quadruple, maybe even like tenfold their earnings reports this year. I, I really do feel like if the majority of the community does pay for the battle pass for all nine seasons and also goes ahead and pays for level skips for all nine seasons, if I'm if I if I understand if let's say if I understand what's going on correctly. So weigh in in the comment section. Am I am I missing something? Do we only have to get the battle pass one time or do you have to buy the battle pass every season? Because season two is just a couple of days away. And and that's just going to be monumental if people are going to go ahead and spend money again. I mean, seeing as how the game cost a 100 bucks in the first place. Like most video games are 80 bucks and boom, there you go. Go ahead and get your in-game purchases. But this is going to put in-game purchases on a whole new level, like another hundred bucks for diehard fans to spend. So you're going to spend a hundred bucks every month if you're a diehard fan and you really want to get your competitive edge. If you're like on the top 10 race and you're racing the top 10, you're definitely going to want those floor setters off the rip. You're definitely going to want those extra prizes just to look drippy. You, I mean, you got your drippy face scan. You're definitely going to want your drippy pogo stick and your season two shirts and whatever else comes along with that. And not to mention wristbands and maybe plus ones to this attribute or that attribute. But I mean, that's that's neither here nor there. I guess what I'm really looking to say here is that I really tip my hat to the businessmen over at Take Two Interactive and the business model that they set up for this forefront because this is very impressive. In a, and from a businessman's standpoint, I mean, to see them go from selling a video game for a hundred bucks to going to selling that same video game for 150 bucks for diehard fans that want the memorabilia to actually bringing it to a point where they can sell the game for a hundred bucks every month. That is monumental from a business standpoint. And I tip my hat to those guys at that business office that are actually putting together this business model for this company. When these earning reports come out and you guys get a chance to see the numbers that 2K has done, I feel like these numbers will be astronomical. I feel like a lot of the community that is actually racing to be in the top 10 race for the clout race and just for the chance to have their name on the top of that list are going to spend top dollar every season to make sure that they get in that top 10 and stay at the top of that top 10 to the best of their abilities. I feel like that is going to bring the big dollar in for 2K. And I feel like with this business model this year for 2K24, they have done their thing. At the end of the day, you can say whatever you want about the company. You can say whatever you want about the consumer. There is actually no way that you can down either side. The company stands to make money, double their earnings and increase their earnings every quarter. And every time they put out a new product, that's only right. That's only good business. The consumer, diehard consumers of anything are definitely there to spend their dollar for what they like to enjoy. And that is only right for a consumer. You spend your money on what you're a fan of. And that's why you earn your money to spend your money on what you enjoy spending your money on. I mean, as a diehard fan and a consumer, yeah, I would like to see things different for my consumer side. Yes, and of course I would. I'd like to see some type of rebates, coupons or whatever else you can throw in there to make it easier on us. But that's just not a thing. It's never going to happen. I mean, in this video game world, it's never going to happen that way. I mean, at the least we can ask for is next year. The game could be free to play. If you're going to get a hundred bucks from these consumers every season and you're throwing nine seasons, you can stand to lower the prices a little bit, make the game free to play. And that'll make consumers way more comfortable buying the season pass and the level skips every month. It's, I mean, it would be only right from a consumer standpoint. Speaking as the consumer for the consumer of the game. That would be only right to go free to play 
and make sure that your customers are satisfied along the journey and every step of the way. Let me know what you think in the comment section about possibly going free to play NBA 2K25. Hashtag that on Twitter and share this video with any and everybody on any platform and every platform you can, because I think this needs to be the actual model that we get behind. And I think that that would only be right for the consumer and it would do justice to the consumer for a video game that we're spending a whole lot of money on every year. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.